Here we are at DMC, as you can see. I think we're all set up and ready to go now. Steve's telling his usual stories in the background. So uh, we're all just waiting now for Fergal and MPs, musicians, everyone else that's going to turn up in about 20 minutes or so, hopefully. So, see how it goes. Dave and the gang out there organising it, organising all the venues, sifting through all the applications and the tapes and the CDs and putting the uh, schedule together for the artists and stuff. So they do all the really clever hard work and I just kind of turn up and take all the glory. I'd heard of Live in Barnsley last year for the first time and somebody I've become very friendly with and consider a very close friend uh, asked me if I fancied a quick pint one night and I've done the pub. Uh, that is Mike Duggar. MP for Barnsley East, I believe it is, and uh, the only thing I can suggest is don't ever go for a quiet drink with Mike Duggar because you end up being patron of Barnsley Live. I can, so I'm playing at the Live in Barnsley Festival. I played last year, fantastic festival, uh, really enjoyed it. They've done such a brilliant job for Barnsley, you know. When you think of all the musicians in Barnsley that have been given a chance, given a platform, given a stage, get up there and show what they can do. It's gone from success to success and just really pleased I'm able to support it and, and even take part, so it's great. John! John! It's alright. Don't mind me. No, this is an interview! <laughs> I'm, I'm giving my pills. I'm telling. I'm saying how great life in Barnsley is, and you lot are having a riot behind the camera. I'm trying to perform. So, take two. We started out. Like, I emailed them in February, actually, when I first heard about life in Barnsley, uh, to just try and get us playing. Then, after numerous, numerous emails to them, they finally emailed me back last Friday saying that we've got a chance and that it were all about the persistence that we'd put in. Because it is, it's a really good place isn't it, to start off. Live in Barnsley, it'll be his first gig as a band together, probably playing his own songs. Everybody's going to know about it. Last year it was a massive success as well. And I think it's going to do really well, not just for the bands, but for Barnsley as well, as a whole. If a musician decides that they want to put their work up on the internet and give it away for free, I feel compelled to support and applaud and encourage that musician. Equally, I feel compelled to support and applaud and encourage those that feel they want to be paid for their time and effort. And I think that people that aren't sensitive to that idea need to spend a bit of time thinking about what they're doing. Because it's not some kind of harmless pastime and it does have an impact on people. And frequently it's people out there just trying to make a decent level by making some music. And clearly, I think that's morally wrong. Barnsley today at the launch of Barnsley Live with Dave Pearsall and we've just been speaking to uh, Fergal Sharkis so over some good representation here from Michael Duggar and Dan Jarvis as well so some good high profile stuff. What's it going to be like on the 21st of June? Well I think it's uh, if it's anything like last year it's going to be hectic again. Uh, in fact the two more venues, a lot more bands uh, which will be a lot more musicians and there's nearly 500 musicians altogether. So uh, I think we're expecting about four or five thousand this year, which uh, should be good. Did you get inundated with sort of CDs and, and uh, sort of mini discs and all sorts of things that fans want to get on? No, no, we don't get any at all. It's all no. internet now. Right. They'll, they'll, it's either a link to SoundCloud or Bandcamp or YouTube. So we'll come down June 21st and uh, find out all these bands and the biggest thing is going to be deciding where to go so you don't miss anybody. It is. Well, you've, you've seen the, the timetable yeah. there. It's got, uh, we worked out if... Even if you plan it perfectly, you'll get to see 18 bands. But that will mean <laughs> running round at Olympic sprint pace. <laughs> That's it then. Done that. That were that were really good. Really interesting. Really enjoyed that. He's been here what? In four hours. He's jumped off a train from London. Come straight in here. He's answered everybody's questions. He's been a dynamite blow. And now he's going to jump back on a train back to London. Yeah, absolutely great. That's what I love about this. You meet so many great people like this, it's positive, it's positive energy that just comes out of it. 
and it's, it's great. Life in Barnsley. Let's fucking get it on right now. Let's go. <laughs> Two, three weeks ago now, we did the media launch down at DMC. Seems five minutes ago now. We're in the final week now, so it all shifts up a gear. Yesterday it was into town, making sure everybody got the posters and banners and everything else ready for the weekend. Then we did uh, Sheffield Live, 93.2 FM. That was good, that was fun. And then we did, um, we did Penniston FM with Ryan last night. Well, yes, yesterday's Chronicle, um, I mean, they've been great. I basically write the stories for them, send them the photographs. They edit my crappy grammar and spelling mistakes. Uh, and they've printed them for the last 24, 25 weeks, which has been brilliant. We've got the rest of the day, we're only halfway through today, and then we really hit the radio stations again. Well, we're here with the same same old faces, same old crew as last year. We've got Phil, who's uh, Steve's brother-in-law. Johnny's here as well, uh, obviously one of the fellow organisers. Uh, Rich is here for the first time, and we're just waiting for a couple more to come later on. Change shift and... Uh, See if we can get rid of all these T-shirts. Oh, Mr. Clifford, <laughs> do, do we have <laughs> Mr. Clifford's playing cricket today? <laughs> yes. How rock and roll is that, viewers? Mr. Stephen Clifford, guitarist for Fireheart, is playing cricket today. Putting these signs up as well. Mm -hmm. I've done that. Mm -hmm. Electrical tires and stuff cut it and slap it into my finger. So I'll, I'll, I'll show you. This is the very spot, folks. <laughs> Showing that I bleed from my heart. It's stopped bleeding now. Although it's 20 minutes since it stopped bleeding. So it's, it's throbbing. It's like one of those cartoons that goes. <laughs> So we'll see how it goes through the day. If I keel over, you know I've lost a lot of blood. Who's <laughs> on down here? You've got some hard hitting bands in there. I know. Who's in underground? Underground and underground. Both kids are dry tough now. Okay. No, no, I'm saying no. in theory. We'll patch them up until we can get a solution. What are you after, Joe? The base, the skin's on the base, they're through. Okay, I can gaffer, we can gaffer top and bottom to stop it spreading, but it's not going to be is it? You know that. It's been a bit scary at times, uh, but everything happens to be here, everything's set up, everything's running well. Uh, we're just chasing down a few drum skins uh, to make sure all drums and everything will be alright. Um, We've an hour and a half to get ready for opening, which is at 12 o'clock, and I think we'll make it. We'll think everything will be fine, uh, and I'm looking forward to it. Less than an hour away, we've got one venue with no PA, we've got two venues with broken drum skins, and we've got one venue that's not set up at all. Again, within the next hour before the first band goes on. So, all hands on deck. Ten drum kits I believe we set up this morning, uh, three were already set up which is nice, always nice, 
A couple of issues with a couple of the kits, uh, that's now sorted. So yeah, it's been uh, it's been busy, been sweaty, but we've got there in the end. This is uh, my able assistant Andy Barber, been an absolute legend this morning. So a big thanks to Andy. Thank you. Have a good day. Town Hall clock, we're after half eleven now, so we're not far off start time. First band's in, sound check in there. Everything's all set up. Just before we are the bands, Virgil Shark is going to come down, uh, and then it's We Are the Bands, the big finale. About 30 different musicians from bars are taking part, and um, it should be good, it should be a good finish. Website Alternative Barnsley, I've been running it since 2011 and it's grown since then and you know I promote local artists on there, musicians, photographers, filmmakers and all the venues in Barnsley that support that as well. It's better watching a local band that you really love than sometimes going to an arena and watching a big band that you can hear. That big at the other end of the arena. This, I don't know, this is better. On the main stage at um, the big podium. Who'll be last on next year? Yeah, definitely last on. I mean, we can't get a greater finale than the Tokyo Witch. No. sort of hit me like a train about half past 11. We were packing up, 
getting the stuff ready to go. And it was a bit like I was saying to you some weeks ago, from all day being surrounded by big crowds, you get right to the end of the day and everybody starts to dwindle away until you're just left there. And, it, and it, on Saturday night, it was just me and Michelle. And we packed all the backdrops and everything, we got them all in the cases and it was like, just sort of stood at front of walkabout and it was like, yeah, it's gone, another year. There's been some really good festivals, Bonfest, Coalfields, but all very much in the sort of classic mode of outdoor festival, outdoor stages. Whereas I suppose we've really taken it to the next level, the sort of tram lines level of a metropolitan indoor festival. The venues and infrastructure's all there. We don't physically have to build anything to, to create live in Barnsley. We're, we're quite happy as we are. The last two festivals, we haven't lost money. So we're happy with that. A lot of people have made probably quite a bit of money from the festival. But we're happy enough that it's stayed in Barnsley. It's worked its way around. If, if, if we do ever end up doing something permanent full time, I think it would have to be outside of live in Barnsley. I think we'd still do it as it is. And maybe look at putting other gigs on and stuff in the town or around. The fire, the fire, the fire, the fire.